Measure of dispersion for ungrouped data is a semantic form for. Compare and interpret two or more sets of ungrouped data based on the appropriate measure of dispersion and hence make conclusion. Example 14, self-practice 8.2e, page 234 to 235. How do you compare and interpret two or more sets of ungrouped data based on the appropriate measures of dispersion? The measures of central tendencies will not give us enough information to do comparison. What is the measure of central tendencies? A measure of central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. As such, measures of central tendencies are sometimes called measures of central location. They are also classed as summary statistics. The mean, often called the average, is most likely the measure of central tendencies that you are most familiar with, but there are others such as the median and the mode. We need to determine the measures of dispersion of the set of data that can give an impression about the features of the data. Thus, the conclusion made is valid and acceptable. Measures of dispersion means the integral range and standard division. Example 14. The table below shows the time taken by 20 employees in two factories to complete a job. 3 means there are 3 employees in factory A need 5 hours to complete a job. So the 2 hills means there are 2 employees in factory B need 9 hours to complete a job. So the data is group data. The data is group data. Calculate the mean and the standard deviation for the time taken to complete the job. Hence, the mean which factory's employees are more efficient to complete the job. Justify your answer. Factory A Mean Equals This is group data, so means equals 3 times 5 plus 2 times 6 plus 9 times 7 plus 2 times 8 plus 4 times 9. Per the total employees in factory A. So means equals 7.1 for factory A. Standard deviation equals square root of variance. Variance equals 3 times 5 square plus 2 times 6 square plus 9 times 7 square plus 2 times 8 square plus 4 times 9 square per total number of employees in factory A. Then minus the mean 7.1. And remember, square. So standard deviation for factory A is 1.261. Factory B means So means equals 1 times 5 plus 5 times 6 plus 7 times 7 plus 5 times 8 plus 2 times 9 per total number of employees in factory B equals 7.1 standard deviation equals square root of variance the variance is 1 times 5 square plus 5 Time 6 square plus 7 times 7 square plus 5 times 8 square plus 2 times 9 square per total number of employees of factory B minus mean 7.1 square.
equals 1.044 so factory A mean is 7.1 factory B mean is also 7.1 but for factory A the standard deviation is 1.261 for factory B standard deviation is 1.044 in conclusion, the employees in factory B are more efficient because its standard deviation is smaller. Self-practice 8.2e Number 1. The table below shows the record of time in seconds for a running event of 100 meters in 5 trials of two school athletes. 12.78 means athlete A Use 12.78 seconds to complete the 100 meters in first trial. In the fifth trial, athlete A used 13 seconds to complete the 100 meter event. Using the appropriate measures of dispersion, determine which athlete is more consistent in his achievement. Solution To find the consistency of achievement, the only measure of dispersion we can use now is standard. Deviation. And to find standard deviation, we need to find mean. We find the mean for athlete A first. So means equals the average of all these numbers. First, 12.73. Standard deviation equals square root of variance. Variance equals square all these numbers and add all of them and then per the total trials 5 minus the mean square equals 0 0.2506 after that we find for athlete B means equals the average of all these numbers equals 12.73 standard divisions equals square root of variance so variant is we square all these numbers and add all of them and then per the total trials 5 minus the mean square equals 0 0.3705 we need to find the consistency of achievement so we compare the both standard division of both athletes and we found that athlete A is more consistent because athlete A has smaller standard division Question number 2 The table below shows a study conducted on the effects of two types of fertilizer to the amount of tomato yield in kilogram for 10 tomatoes trees respectively. Using the measures of dispersion, the mean which fertilizer is more effective in improving the yield of tomatoes. Solution. So to find the effectiveness, the measure of dispersion we can use now is standard deviation. And to find the standard deviation, we need to find mean. Fertilizer A means equals the average of all these numbers equals 34.3 standard deviation equals square root of variance we square all these numbers and add all of them and then per the total number of data minus 34.3 square this is means then we square root so standard vision equals 12.65 fertilizer B means equals the average of all these numbers equals 35.2 standard divisions equals square root of variance so variance equals square all these numbers and add all of them and then per the total number of data 10 minus the mean square and square root 
equals 6.321. Then we compare the mean and standard deviation. Fertilizer B, the mean 35.2. Fertilizer A, the mean is 34.3. So fertilizer B produce more yield. For standard deviation of fertilizer B, is 6.321 smaller than the fertilizer A. In conclusion, fertilizer B is more effective in improving the yield of tomatoes. If you have any questions, please leave your comments. Thank you very much.